Hi there, Jay Eaker here at the Network Life Center in Louisville, Colorado, and uh, today I want to talk with you about back pain, and I want to do that from the perspective of the work that we do here at the Network Life Center. Um, and in order to do that, we kind of got to go way back to the beginning, back to when we were just babies, back to when we were even in the womb, uh, when we were back to when we were just little kids. And uh, the reason is because the part of our nervous system that was online at that part early stage in our life is a part that's just feeling into our environment. There's not a lot of thinking going on, or no thinking going on. Uh, the sensitive part of our nervous system is just relating directly to our environment through the energetics of our environment. And so as we're doing this, we're feeling into the people around us, and especially our parents. And as we feel into our parents, we might pick up on something in their system that says, oh, that the world is just not safe. Uh, we might pick up that there are certain emotions, certain sensations, certain feelings that are not safe for us to experience. And so since we rely on those people for our survival, our nervous system says, well, this must be the way that it's done. And so our system just automatically adopts those survival patterns uh, just through resonance, just through entrainment. And uh, by the way, they got those patterns from their parents who got them from their parents and so on and so forth. So it's nobody's fault. Uh, but when our nervous system does that, it uh, uses uh, muscle tension to sequester the, the offending energy in our body to keep it separate from our experience. It uses breath. It shuts breath down to certain areas to do the same thing To uh, uh, because if we breathe into it, we have to experience it. And our nervous system has decided it's not safe to experience, so it shuts breath down to that area so that we don't have to experience it. Uh, it uses our posture to sequester the offending energy in certain parts of our body and keep it separate from other parts. Um, and so there, that's kind of this fundamental uh, foundational layer of uh, resources in our system that are being used to hold this survival patterning in our system. And that sort of predates and uh, all of the other things that we encounter after that, the fall out of the tree and the, the car accident and the sitting in front of the computer and all the other hurts and traumas and accidents that we experience after that are kind of just secondary uh, because this fundamental layer of survival programming in our system it's using resources that we can't use to adapt to a stress like a car accident so we're more likely to be injured by it by the car accident and we're less likely to be able to recover from the car accident because there's kind of this fundamental layer of resources being used to protect ourselves that never gets addressed any other way um, and so from that model, uh, there are a couple reasons why most people start to experience back pain. Um, first of all, if we encounter some developmental stage in our life where our nervous system decides that it's no longer useful to keep that energy sequestered there and it starts to release it, uh, as it comes to the surface, we can experience that as pain, but actually it's our system reorganizing it itself. It's our system uh, self-correcting itself, actually. The other situation is where uh, we've just used so many resources over the course of so many years to hold tension in defense and survival programming that our system runs out of resources to do that. And so we encounter a stress and our system says, you know what, we don't have any resources left to create another layer of survival programming. And so that strategy kind of breaks down and that energy that's been sequestered starts to kind of leak out. And um, that can show up in a number of ways, but certainly back pain is one of the ways that that, that we can, that that shows up. Um, and sort of from that model again, uh, pain, uh, this energy that was sequestered, it's not. It's actually all of the information that's needed to move to the next stage of our development is found in, is in the pain, basically. So the pain is actually the solution. Uh, and so we don't actually want to try to make the pain go away. We want to actually go towards it so that we can extract the information from that. And when we bring our attention to that, it allows us to do that. And I've, uh, in other videos about pain, I've uh, given some uh, directions on what that's about and how to do that more specifically. Uh, and also to mention that the work that we're doing here at the Network Life Center is key to helping you do that. So uh, if you found this uh, information useful, uh, 
please share it or like it or leave a comment. It helps people who are looking for this information find it on the web. And I look forward to uh, speaking with you next time.